We all want to know, when will this pandemic be over? We've had good news on experimental vaccines of late, but how long will the protection last? Lorenzo Hall is here with some answers from an expert. Lorenzo. Yeah, Bruce, you know, even though we don't know any the specifics about the recently announced coronavirus vaccines, we do have some details at the moment. Viewers asked, how long do vaccines generally provide immunity? Well, we reached out to an infectious diseases specialist, Dr. Linda Naba, for that answer. How long a vaccine lasts depends on the actual vaccine itself. Uh, the goal of a vaccine is to have as long of an immunity as possible. And what vaccines are designed to do is to create these antibodies. So when you get a vaccine, your body sees a foreign particle um, and it reacts, it makes antibodies. And what you really want is the body to keep those antibodies for as long as possible. How long do vaccines typically last? Dr. Naba says it could be anywhere from a couple months to a lifetime. We recommend people get their flu shot by October because we know it doesn't last a year. Um, so we, we think that it lasts probably as long as six months for the flu shot. A tetanus vaccine, for example, lasts for, for 10 years. Uh, so you get, have to get revaccinated. Um, and an adult, the shingles vaccine, that's a two-step process. The second one is due between six months and a year. And that should pro provide you with lifelong immunity against shingles. Um, so it really depends on the vaccine. Well, here's some good news. Today, CDC Director Robert Redfield said coronavirus vaccines could be available by the middle of December. But remember, the first round will not be available for everyone, mainly frontline workers and those who are critically ill. Bruce. So thanks a lot. Good information.